Hey, welcome back. We're here to talk about the Bafang BBS02 controller just a little bit more. We're going to go through some of the advanced programming options. We're going to show you how to actually set your throttle to work at PAS0, which is kind of an interesting thing to do. Uh, so stick tuned, stay tuned here. We're going to show you how to do that. There is a specialized piece of hardware required, which is a USB to serial adapter. Uh, we're going to show you that here next. Okay, so here's our USB to serial adapter. You can see on this end here, it's a USB. On the other end, it's got some wiring headers, and we've got these plugged into the little green plug. This, this wire goes down to the motor through this little octopus right here, but this is the one that plugs into the display, and we're gonna use the same serial port that the display itself uses to program the controller. So, uh, so step one in doing this is gonna be over here. You're gonna wanna disconnect your your battery first. Uh, that's, a, that's an important thing to do. You don't want to try and do any of these connections with your battery connected. So the first thing you do is disconnect the battery, uh, which is for me is this connector right here. I went ahead and disconnected the positive battery wire. When you reconnect that up, it is going to spark just a little bit when we do the programming. Don't be alarmed by that. Now, once that's done, then you will end up uh, plugging these wires in here. Uh, there's plenty of pictures online for this, but you're basically plugging pin one into ground, uh, pins three and five are shorted to each other, and pins two and four are your data uh, that go down here to your FTDI adapter. Once you've got all those plugged in, you're gonna wanna double and triple check them. Uh, the, the numbering goes counterclockwise from this end. Uh, so pin one is, is the pin to the left of the, uh, of the little notch in the connector. But once you've got that in, you're gonna go ahead and plug that into your USB and then at that point uh, we're ready to get going. Okay, now once you've got all of that plugged back in uh, and everything's plugged into the computer and all set up here and you think you're ready to go, you're going to want to double and triple check all of your wires and then you're going to want to hook this back up and it's going to spark just a little bit. We're going to ignore that and get that plugged in. If it works right, you should see down here on your uh, speed sensor that that light is on, actually. And that's your indication that the jumping of wires three and five worked and that everything is good to go. At that point, we can go ahead and start the software, uh, hook up to the port, and have it scan. Okay, now uh, we've got our software here. We're gonna go ahead and start that up. You're gonna uh, you'll get the software in a zip package. It's called Controller ST. Um, you'll unzip it. Once you get that unzipped, you're going to run that executable as administrator, and you're going to do that so that it has access to the serial ports. Um, let's go ahead and. Sorry, I've got multiple monitors here, so bear with me. Okay, so now it shows the COM3, that's the correct port, so we're going to go ahead and connect to it and see what happens. Now you can see from here that we have successfully connected. Uh, we've got our manufacturer, our model, hardware version, all of that has populated itself. Now, that's a good sign. If that does not happen, something has gone horribly wrong, take a step back, uh, double check your wiring, triple check your wiring, and, and make sure you're not frying anything here. Uh, but you shouldn't really have too many problems with it. Now we're going to go ahead and read the flash. We've read our flash successfully. Now you can see I've already modified this. I've taken the speed limits and changed them. I'm actually going to change this one to uh, 0. You can see over here we've got our, uh, our current assist and speed assist. Uh, normally this is set up on a similar ramp as that is where you've got starting off at 40 or 50 percent over here at 1 and then and then ramping on up as it goes. I don't like to have the PAS levels control the speed, so I set all of these to 100. Setting this PAS level for a 0 to 100 is part of what you need to do in order to get uh, the throttle to work under PAS 0. Once you do that, you can go ahead and first thing you're going to want to do is, uh, is save your uh, your parameters and you save those as an EL file, you pick a name for it. I've already saved it as default, so I'm just going to use that and we'll call it default 2 and save it. 
now we've saved it, any changes we make, we can actually uh, revert them back later. Uh, now we go over to the throttle handle here, and you can see the mode speed, designated assist, uh, nine, uh, and then speed limited, and we can go ahead and set that to say, uh, by displays command and that should allow everything because we've set it to have 100% in PAS 0 that uh, that should allow it to work and if we go ahead and write that we should be good to go. Uh, the other tab you have there is pedal assist gives you a lot of different uh, stuff here for the pedal assist uh, your start currents and all of these different settings you can mess with them most of these you shouldn't have to mess with like I said for me the big pet peeves are the speed limit on the different PAS levels I would like to be able to go max speed no matter what my uh, my pedal assist level is and then the the other one is the throttle handle going over and setting that speed to be limited by displays command those are the two things that, that I think uh, for me um, really change how the controller feels and then once you're done you can go ahead and you know write flash once you're done with everything and close out and you're done okay now once you're actually done with this configuration uh, in order to get everything back to normal the first thing you want to do is disconnect your battery um, once you've got your battery disconnected you can come over to your laptop disconnect the FTDI adapter uh, and pull all these wires out and then you can reconnect this uh, to the display. Once it's reconnected to the display uh, then you can go ahead and reconnect the power and turn on the device and everything should be good to go. Okay, now we've got the display plugged back in and we went ahead and plugged the battery back in uh, so now we should be able to power on the, the baffing here see it comes back on right away that's a good sign we didn't blow anything up uh, we're gonna go ahead and switch down to power assist level zero and if what we did worked correctly now from level zero we should be able to hit the throttle and have the bike move forward which it is doing actually as you can see so so it looks like that was successful and we now have been able to set up the baffang so that the throttle works even at PAS zero uh, where there's no pedal assist which is kind of nice